Well, the good news is this worker is finally done cultivating, but we got a lot of work to do. What's going on everybody? DJ Coham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. We've got to do a little bit of swippy swapping. Let's go in here and let's find our contracts. Collect. Boom. Right there. There's some money. Now. Oh, why did I let you guys talk me into this? Field one. 83 grand. Accept the contract. Oh yeah. So we've got some money in the bank. Unfortunately, we have had to spend a little bit. We've spent, I think, around 13 grand, uh, maybe more getting stuff together for this harvest. What do we have? Let's find out. We have not one, not two, not three, but four Case IH 9240 combines with our special header on them. Oh, me, oh my. Uh, I am going to run, let's see, I think we're going to run Straw Swath. I think, let's see, turn that on, turn that on. Yeah, they've all got Straw Swath enabled, so I think I'm just going to run that constantly. Uh, just, you know, I mean, I know there's nothing we could do with it, but I think it'll look cool at the end when everything's all said and done. These harvesters will hold one million liters each. Oh, goodness gracious. Here we go. There's one. Let's go and hire that one. I uh, see. I think we need to hire this one first so that we can line this one up and let them go. Now, I am going to let that harvester kind of go and do its thing. Wait for it. Oh, you can see all three of them going. That's so cool. We are going to be taking over the harvest of the one on the left side. I think we've got enough time now. We can go ahead and hire this guy. Don't have access to this land. Whatever. We just did it. All right, not a whole lot of straw coming off of these things, so I don't imagine that we're going to be doing a whole lot as far as extra straw, but I want to look at that. <laughs> it's like an army just going through. I'm going to do my best to not have the, uh, the super mega header. We may wait until the next harvest to use that. I mean, we would do this in like two and a half passes, if not less than that. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to avoid doing that right now because I know it's going to be way too easy. Not that I'm trying to make it hard on us. This is not going to take long. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but the point of doing this harvest is not actually to get the money for the harvest. The point of doing this is to get the money from the crop at the end. That's right. So we're cutting through the center of the field here. Yeah, these guys are going to catch up quick. The only thing that I see that may become an issue later on is the fact that we have, uh, well, we're at like 25% after one pass. That's going to, yeah, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. All right, let's wait for this guy. Good. Oh, there goes that one. Please turn the right way. <laughs> I'm about to take it over. Oh no, it's going the wrong way. All right, I think we can here. There we go. All right, I need to find it. Where is it? Did it cut into the wrong place? Nope, stop. Ha ha, we took over. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I think what I'm, well, you know, I was gonna run a headland, but I don't think we have to do that. I think we can just set this on a worker right here and just let him do his thing. This is gonna look so cool with all the straw on it though. I'm so excited about that. All right, hire worker. Let him rock and roll, do his thing. Actually, no, these don't have a 1 million liter capacity. I thought they did. These have a 100,000 liter capacity. Oh, we're in trouble. <laughs> um, we, we need another trailer, man. We're going to need another trailer. Now, I do have some trailers. There's one that, if you guys saw, aha, there it is. Wait, where'd it go? Uh-oh. I hope I didn't break it yet again. There it is. Okay, right here. The crampy big trailer. I could not find this on Doll Ranch. Kind of irritating that I couldn't as well. But you know what? Made it to the end already? Well, dead gum. Look at that. Yeah, he did make it to the end. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, I dig it. I dig it. Let's go into trailers. I do really, really 
like the Benelube. So we're going to get this. We're going to lease it. I know it's $0. Don't care. I'm just going to lease it. Um, let's see. I don't know exactly what color the trailer itself is. So rim color. You know what? Let's just go with a nice silver on there. Main color. This is the part that I'm not too sure about. You know what? Let's just go with a case. That'll look cool. And design color. You know what? Why not? Let's go with a white without back reflectors with a spare wheel in case we get a flat. Let's go ahead and lease that. Boom. We've got that taken care of. Now let's go in. I need to find our truck. I think it's this one right here. Nope. That's the trailer. The warrior. That's the one right there. Let's oh, I guess we're resetting that. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do right here. Optiliner 106. I wanted to reset that. Oh, I just fired the worker. This is not a bad time to do it either. All right, pull this around, line them back up. Eventually, these workers are gonna start getting full. This one's already at 39%. However, they've worked a whole lot less than the others have. Yeah, red, white, and blue. America, there you go. Hey, we'll take the colors right here. Let's get hooked up and boom, got it. Go and get this opened up. Now, these guys are going 20, what, 24 miles per hour. So we need to get that set about right there. That'll do. And I have crop destruction turned on. However, in, um, in contracts like this, you don't have to worry about that. So I'm just going to come up here. I know, I know, I know. Super mega unrealistic, but hey, welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. And if you are new, let me know down in the comment section below. Drop down and be like, yo, DJ, I'm brand new. I have no idea what's going on right now. But you're cool. <laughs> Just let us know. Oh, I didn't even think this harvester's probably... I didn't change the overload speed because this is the... Uh, well, no, this is a modded harvester, but it's probably picking up as much as it can dump in at the same time. Oh, boy. I didn't even think about that. Um, yeah, because I'm looking in it right now, and it's barely going down. And we've got, well, I mean, we've got 16,000 liters off of it already, so there's that. You know, I think we're going to run into a bit of a problem here. Because quite a few of these harvesters are going to be ready for unloading. Maybe if we just go in a, uh, go in a pass, so like every single pass we hit one could do that i mean we got 18,000 liters in here even though they're picking up 25,000 liters per pass which is no bueno <laughs> we may just have to get some trucks and set them on the end and be like yo take it all right so there we are at 18,000 liters we might be able to get everything from this guy after this one pass we gotta keep a keep a good lookout oh, oh we're going over too far speed up speed up no i messed it up of course this would happen <laughs> nothing good ever happens <laughs> here we go hooked up now we're gonna have to get this guy unloaded or as as unloaded as we possibly can i'm looking in the hopper right now and i gotta be honest with you i don't know if it's going to okay it is going down but it is barely going down we've almost doubled what's in here though since we started so there's there's good things all around, I guess. Yeah, the this this is no good. So these harvesters are not unloading as fast as they possibly can. Do we have any that are blinking yet? Okay, so none are blinking. That's good. But it's going to take forever for these guys to unload. I should have thought about that ahead of time. Oh, I, th I think we're getting... Uh, I think we're getting a rip in the chat right now. Okay, helper B just started flashing. Which means that they've got 83,000 liters, or 85,000 liters in there. Maybe 80, yeah, 80%, so 80,000 liters. Like I said, I'm going to continue rocking with this guy from one end to the other. There we go. We got a bunch off of there, though. We got a bunch of grain off of that. Hopefully, this guy can make it to the end. We'll see. Let's bring this back up. Just see. Okay, so this is the only helper that is blinking right now, which is okay. Doesn't look like they're that full yet. Yeah, we'll be able to hit them going on the way back. No problem whatsoever. 
I'm trying to do this entire thing in real time so you guys can see how long it actually takes. So you can be like, okay, you know, I just look from the beginning of the thing and go from start to finish. So there we go. Get that done. Maybe we should have changed the unload speed to make this a little bit easier, I think. I don't I don't wanna have to do that, but I I'm I think uh, I, don't, I don't know what to do. I think we're gonna have to do that, guys. I think no, no, go! Get you, you're you're being wasteful. Get going. <laughs> do two things at once. Let's move, baby. Um, you know what? I think this will help her see. Who's help her see? Oh, that's the first one. I think this provides a unique opportunity here, a unique challenge for us to say, okay, this is tough. This is really tough. But I think we can do it. I think we can get it done. Oh man. How much we got left here? Let's uh, let's see if we can hit, get in a straight-ish line. How's about that? Is that good? Yeah, straight. Yeah, straight-ish. That'll work. Let's bring this up. Let's see. All right, so we have nailed this field. We are just demolishing this field as it is right now, which is not too shabby at all. So this guy, okay, this is below 80% now, which is good. However, I've got a good feeling that the helper up there is really going to need some help. Helper I is nearly full grain tank. Who's that? Oh no, they're all blinking now. Oh boy. Guys, we're, we're in some serious, some serious trouble now. Tell you what, I think, um, I think we're going to have to change the overload speed because we're just not getting anywhere. And we're back. All right, welcome back. Okay, so now I didn't realize they hold uh, 90,000. Now they hold 100,000, which is good. And the overload capacity has been multiplied times 10. So it should, yeah, you, you, you get what I'm saying here. It's, it's going to unload much quicker. All right, let's get this guy. I think higher workers should be lined up good there. And higher workers should be good there. Perfect. Now we gotta do is figure out who's where, what's what, how's how, and who's blinking. Crap, everybody's blinking. Go, 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 go. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hit up helper F first. Hey, helper F stands for first. What's up? Also, why don't they go in order? Like, the helper A, B, C, D. Like, whenever I hire somebody, it's like, oh, that's helper A. That's helper B. That's helper C. That's helper D. Nope. Helper Q. Helper A. Helper Y. Helper 3. What? Why is there a number? Quit it. That's weird. All right, let's pull up. Let's see how much faster we can unload. This should be ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Look at the hopper unloading now. Now that is what I'm talking. Oh, uh oh. Oh, no, no. I went too far. Come on. Unload the rest of the way. Please. All right, there's 130, 135, 140, 145. <laughs> All right, so it's unloading pretty quick. So the unload speed was 420 on this, hilariously, of course. And uh, I changed it to 4,020. All right, who's next? Why did I turn around like that? That was stupid. That was a bad decision. Oh, I don't know what's going on with this, but this tractor does not want to go. Come on, baby. Let's move. Let's move. Where I come from, we call these tractors. I know some people call them semi-trucks, uh, lorries, or lorries. Uh, yeah, I, I call them tractors because it's a tractor trailer. Anyway, that's that's the way I grew up saying it. Let me know. How do you how do you guys, uh, what do you guys call these? Of course, a lot of people call them different things. Again, like I said, I call it a tractor because it's from a, uh, a tractor trailer. Uh, my grandfather drove one of these. He drove a logging truck for a long time. And so that's why I call it tractor trailer because it's a tractor trailer right here. Yeah, you, you, you get it. You, you know what's going on. All right, so how much have we got now? Actually, he's probably almost empty, isn't he? We probably need to be paying attention to how, how empty this guy's getting so we can pull away as fast as possible. All right, that's it right there. Where is the next victim? Right here. See, is he blinking? He is blinking. And of course, it's having us take everything to CHS grains as well. There's only one place to take grain on this map, uh, which eh, it is what it is. Uh, no complaints. Uh, the price is what you get. That seems to be kind of, I mean, I know 
it's the way they want it to be with this map and, and with this kind of thing. But it seems like that's the way things are going. Like every single map that we're playing on, we have one cell point for green. That's it. Uh, Peterville, uh, Doll Ranch, and here on Welker Farms. We've only got the one place. So it leads me to think, is this how it's going to be for, you know, is this way it's going? If there's any modders watching, uh, if you guys want to comment down in the comment section and be like, yeah, that's that's kind of what what we're doing. You're just realizing this? Good job, DJ. Uh, or maybe it's, uh, you know, we, we didn't really plan it like that. It's just, it's just what happened. There we go. Hire worker. Or, hire worker. Put on cruise control. Yeah, we already got 400,000 liters in here. That's not too bad. And the good thing is, too, now doing like this, this allows us to get all the grain out a little bit faster. And, uh, and nobody, the workers aren't just sitting there, which we were going to have workers sitting for a minute. Cool. Okay, so there is that worker. We are at 493,000 liters as of right now. Um, I'm going to pull up. Oh, don't let him hit me. There we go. I'm going to hit cruise real fast because I want to pop down. I want to see what we've got. We don't have much left. Helper D's kind of doing their thing. They're, they're slowly, slowly but surely hitting it. Uh, see, Helper J is taking off. Helper F is turning around. Looks like Helper G is turning around as well. But you guys can see, like, we're at, what, 13, 14 minutes total for doing this field right now. It's not, at least the way we're doing it. Helper D's completed the... Dot. Okay, whatever. Look at this. Watch. A hire worker. Oh, no, he didn't do it. Oh, okay. There you go. See? Look at that. There you go. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can hit the gas a little bit. Uh, actually, how, how much of a pass is left here? Because this is going to determine... Yeah, that's still at least... That's still at least two passes worth right there, so... I think these guys will be fine, plus they're not going to run into each other. Now, one may get to the other end. Look at all this straw. I hope that the frame rate's looking good. The computer's almost done, so that is nice. Unfortunately, it's going to be done right when I'm moving out. While you guys are watching this, if you're watching this day of, now, if you're watching this in the future, this has already happened, but if you guys are watching this day of, I have moved. Well, am moving. Um things are the moving company at the time of when this releases which is 7 a.m my time uh the moving company will be here at 11 to get everything uh, i will still be living where i am for the next two weeks but i will have no furniture <laughs> the only things that'll be here are like legit my two two computer desks and like four computers that's it <laughs> two pcs and two bags that is all that's gonna be here See, now we can run from end to end with these guys and pick up exactly the way I want to. Man, they're taking a dandy times turning around at the end, though, aren't they? Goodness. Come on, buddy. You can do it. I believe in you. You know what? We all believe in you. But you just got to go. There we go. So uh, that's, that's kind of what's going on in the world of DJ at the current moment. Um... It's going to be a very, very long two weeks, especially with like no furniture. All my clothes are gone. Like I've got a, two duffel bags, that's it. Uh, actually, you know what? I just realized I packed up all my duffel bags. <laughs> I gotta go open one of my boxes and get my bag out. <laughs> that sucks. No, oh no, never mind. Okay, no, they're under my bed. They're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I almost, uh, almost was an idiot right there. Okay. This, this guy's done. Uh, well, not done, but... Hey, you know what? Let's go ahead and follow him all the way to the end. Just so we can get this finished up. Anyway, that's what's going on in my head right now, anyway. Just constantly, constantly, constantly trying to figure out... Okay, I've got this. I've got that. Kitchen stuff's put away. I have one pot, one pan, and like 38 containers of ramen noodles. <laughs> it's... And I, I was actually able to find some spicy chicken for once. Spicy chicken's pretty good. You get... I mean, definitely don't eat ramen noodles every day. Your your stomach will not like you for it. But, you know, hey, you know, once in a while, it's a treat. It's terrible, but it's a treat nonetheless. Any workers blinking? No workers are blinking right now. I'm looking at Helper C down at the bottom, the, the kind of like the, the panhandle area of this field. I've got an idea that I'm pretty sure we're going to have to take over that. Uh, speaking of taking over, I'm going to take over this harvester now. Go ahead and fire them. 
They've got nothing in here, good. Turn off the harvester, pull it up here, because that one is done. And we wanna do the same thing with this harvester right here as well. Hopefully he sticks his arm out. Oh, he just, <laughs> he just hit us. All right, so the arm's coming out. The helper's done, so that arm should stay out. It's got a little pile. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. There's a lot of straw here at the end. All right, let's get this empty out. We are over 600,000 liters now. That's pretty cool. That's a whole lot, too. Uh, let's see. Let's set a cruise. I want to see what's going on down here. Okay. They've got at least one more pass before I need to take over. That is good. So we're just going to let them kind of do their thing if they're even working. Help her see. What are you doing? Okay. Yeah, you're doing all right. You're doing all right. Let's go and empty this one. I don't know how much is in here because we haven't visited this, this uh, worker. Yeah, they're about half full. That's at least 50,000 liters right there. Go and set the cruise control. Boom. Set. Now we got to do is follow him to the very end. See, this, uh, this field, the way we've done it with the cheatiness. But I've tried not to do too much GD as far as uh, width goes. I could have easily, again, like I said, come through here with a 100 meter header. There's no point in doing that. I think this is, uh, this is the way to go. I mean, it, it's quick enough to where we've done what I wanted to do and make the money that I want to make. But it's fast enough to where it doesn't feel like a huge chore. And I understand it's filled one, it's supposed to feel like a chore. Because it is, it's the biggest field on the map. Yeah, I don't want it though. <laughs> All right, let's jump in. Let's see, okay, he's got a little bit here. I don't know if he's gonna recognize that or not, but he's only got one pass left before he starts to complain. We're definitely gonna have to take over that. Where are we at right now? We're at 663,000 liters in here, almost at 300, or 664, boom, right there. It's gonna get to the end right here. Hopefully it'll say workers completed their task. I'm gonna slow down a little bit. There we go, okay. We are empty. I don't know where they're going and they're backing up. Fire. Okay, oh, stop. All right. So this is the dealio. Now, all we have to do is this is all on us now. And unfortunately, the lines are not going to be as neat and clean as they could be. But we're going to go ahead and do this ourselves, take over this. There's one thing. If I own this field, I think what I would do is I would partition these away from each other. There we go. Okay. Oh, it won't drop the straw if it's not on the field, if it's not on the area that you own. Interesting. Wow, that was a whole lot at once. I'm gonna keep doing that because that was great. All right, pull through here. It's gonna stop dropping. Nope. <laughs> it's just gonna look terrible. Gosh. Wow, it plopped a little bit down there, didn't it? All right, case age 9240 is stopped due to inactivity. Fine by me. Here we go. There's a little bit more. Wow, that was a whole lot right there at the end. This ought to be funny up here. I'm sorry, I've totally ruined these lines. It just, it looks really good the way the worker's done it and we are demolishing it. Don't care. We've got work to do. So what's in here right now? We got 44,000, almost 45,000 liters in this harvester alone. Again, these are modded out so that we can work a little bit easier and not have to deal with so much. All right, there's that, spin around. Hopefully we get it all, there we go. There's only one spot that I've noticed that I'm pretty sure the worker missed just right at the end of one of their lines. And we're going to have to hit that before it's all said and done. Again, uh, with the exception of having to uh, take a break. Oh, we missed some. Uh, with the exception of taking a break and jumping out and, and making sure that these kind of unload a little bit faster. Uh, you guys have seen the entire process of doing this field. The entire thing, the entire... You know, from hiring the workers and everything, and we've leased all the equipment. So we've got three harvesters and three headers that have been leased. We don't even own these. So whenever we go back in, we're not going to be doing our own field and doing this huge harvest on it and be like, oh, yeah, now we've got four uh, four combines. Thanks, Nick Welker. Appreciate it. He, Nick dropped by the other day. And, you know, We are going to be working our way up to getting big buds. So don't you guys worry. Uh, case combines will stay on the map. 
Uh, there's no way I'm getting rid of Case Combines on this map. Case belongs on Welker Farms. Uh, but I just didn't prefer the big, uh, uh, the big quad track. If you guys didn't see, uh, this video is linked in the Welker Farm, or it says FS19 uh, Welker Farms. And this is a big playlist. I think it's like episode four, episode five right here. And uh, if you guys want to watch all of the episodes consecutively back to back, you easily can. They're all linked. Uh, I will do my best to link all that down in the description below. Let's hit that. Boom. Got it. And then just a little sprig up here. We've got 58,000 liters in here right now. Let's go ahead and bump this out so that we can bring the, uh, the trailer. Should we take this? Nah, we're just going to return everything. Oh, two sprigs. Missed two little pieces. <laughs> you guys get a little pixely uh, up there in the corner. Like, slowly rendering in all of the straw. That's all right. And boom. So we got that. Cool, cool. Let's take this over. Then this is just going too slow for me. Where is it? Where is this guy? Also, right here. I don't know if you can hear that. It sounds like water's running, but we're in the middle of a field, which makes no sense at all. I don't understand it. Uh, let's take cruise. Let's set a high cruise, 51. There we go. Take a look, make sure everything's good. Eh, a little sprig right there. I think we'll be okay. The whole thing is done. Now, what were we getting for this? $83,000, okay? So, at $83,000 for the contract itself, I wonder how much we're going to make with the extra wheat sale. Now, this is assuming that the wheat prices are good right now as well. Are wheat prices good? Because if wheat prices are bad, uh, I've seen better, if I'm honest. <laughs> uh, don't we have a, a field that we've planted? Yeah, we own field 16. We've planted field 16. All right, is he empty? He's empty. We may as well go ahead and get this sold now. Uh, one thing I do want to prevent is anything crazy happening. So let's go in and I wanna change the tip side to the grain door. There we go, tip side's the grain door. 723,395 liters in here. Uh, that's a few. <laughs> Uh, what's our process on here so far? Let's bump around. 84%. Okay. Need to deliver the wheat to the CHS grains. There it is plain. Very cool. Very cool. Let's see if we can jump this. Eh, a little bit. Not too much. Make this turn. Don't hit the pedestrian. Good luck. Good luck. Definitely going to hit this one. There you go. All right. Let's get this dumped out. Again. We're getting 80, what, 83,000 for this contract. The big question is going to be, how much are we going to get from just selling it? Let's see. Wait for it. There it is. Okay. Oh, money's going up, baby. We made $208,000 off of the extra harvest from that. Oh my goodness. So that contract paid us. Let's go and collect. There we go. So we started with $180,000 at the beginning of the contract. And after selling the extra wheat, we have profited almost, wow, almost $300,000 when it was all said and done. That ain't too bad at all. Oh, the straw's gone. <laughs> Man. All right. Let's get all these returned because this was all leased. We don't own any of this. Boom, boom, boom. All done. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not already, please subscribe. If you have any questions, drop those down in the comment section below. And if you got any more ideas for Welker Farms, let me know in the comment section below. That being said, hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace. <laughs>